Imagine standing above a crater in Italy, where tourists breathe in sulfur fumes, yellow rocks burn beneath their feet, and the ground beneath Naples, a city of one million people, is literally rising. For 40 years, scientists have been watching Solfatara Crater release the same gases from deep magma. But since 2018, something catastrophic changed. The volcano stopped whispering. It started screaming. The signal? A gas called hydrogen sulfide began flooding out of fumaroles for not just steam, not just carbon dioxide, but a chemical fingerprint that matches the last volcanic crisis that forced hundreds of thousands to evacuate their homes. Today, we're decoding what Solfatara's hidden breath means and why scientists are more alarmed than ever. Stay until the end. We're showing you exactly what triggers volcanic eruption signals, how deep underground magma is moving right now beneath the grey crater of Solfatara, approximately three kilometers northeast of Pozioli Harbor. Sits one of the world's most continuously monitored geothermal systems for the past 40 years. Volcanologists at Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, INNI, hmm, have collected gas samples from two main fumarolic vents, Bacca Grande, Coca Nuova. These aren't the direct pathways from a magma chamber buried nine to six kilometers below the surface. And what those vents release tells the story of an awakening volcano. Until 2018, the pattern was predictable. Carbon dioxide and superheated steam dominated the output, measured at outlet temperatures of 150 to 165 degrees Celsius. Since the end of 2018, hydrogen sulfide concentrations in Solfatara fumaroles have recorded an unprecedented increase. This isn't a minor fluctuation. This is a fundamental change in the volcano's geochemistry. Researchers from INV, collaborating with Cambridge University and Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute, published their findings in Nature Geoscience, one of the world's most rigorous peer-reviewed journals. They discovered that observed variations in fumarole composition aren't merely surface hydrothermal processes. They're evidence of ascending magmatic gases transporting upward from the deep crust itself. Let that sink in. The volcano isn't just venting old gases. New magma is moving up. And for the first time in decades, scientists have hard evidence. The mechanism is stark. Between depths of 9 and 6 kilometers, fresh magmatic fluids are rising through fractured rock toward the hydrothermal system above. These rising gases heat the water trapped in rock pores at depths of 2.7 to 4 kilometers. That heated water builds pressure. That pressure deforms the ground. That deformation triggers earthquakes. And around Pozzuoli, residents felt hundreds of them. 282 earthquakes in just 48 hours in February alone. Stephen Colero, chief technologist responsible for geochemical monitoring of companion volcanoes at INV, explains. An increasing release of sulfur from fumaroles is typical of quiescent volcanoes going through a phase of possible gradual reactivation. This is academic language for something terrifying. Sulfatara is waking up. The sulfur isotope data tells an even deeper story. Scientists didn't just measure how much hydrogen sulfide was escaping. They measured its isotopic signature, the specific molecular weight which reveals where it originated and how it transformed on its journey to the surface. The pattern matched closed, system degassing of magma at depths exceeding 8 kilometers. In plain language, the volcano is degassing. It's releasing gases that were trapped inside molten rock. When volcanoes do this, they're either preparing to erupt or maintaining a crisis state. Between April 2018 and October 2023, the flow of anhydrite, a sulfur-bearing mineral indicating intense heat and chemical activity deep underground, 
jumped from 47,000 moles per day to 289,000 moles per day. Solfatara sits at the geometric center of the Campi Flegre caldera, making it the highest pressure release valve for the entire volcanic system. When Solfatara's chemistry changes, the whole caldera is responding. Giovanni Chiudini, associate research director at ESV, stated, The increasing magmatic contribution in the gases suggests an important evolution in the dynamics of the Fligrian volcanic system since 2018. Evolution. That's the word science. But what residents living directly above these vents experience is geological acceleration. Measured, documented, and undeniable. But here's the question that keeps volcanologists awake. What's happening deep beneath the crater that's pushing hydrogen sulfide to the surface like never before? The answer is both fascinating and terrifying. Nine kilometers below Pozuali Harbor sits a magma chamber. A vast pocket of molten rock that contains between 85 and 150 cubic kilometers of magma. Duh. To visualize that, imagine filling a cube 18 kilometers on each side with liquid fire. That's what's buried beneath your feet if you live in Naples. And right now, something is changing inside that chamber. Between 2007 and 2023, scientists tracked magma movement using an unprecedented combination of satellite radar and computer modeling. What they discovered was systematic, quantifiable, and alarming. Fresh magma began ascending from depths of 8 kilometers upward, moving toward shallower chambers at 4 to 6 kilometers deep. This wasn't random stirring. This was directed. As it rose, it encountered fractured crustal layers, broken rock zones that had been damaged by previous intrusions over centuries. Between 2.5 and 3 kilometers depth sits a weakened layer, essentially scarred tissue from past magmatic episodes. When modern magma pushes against this weakness, it doesn't immediately break through. Instead, fluids, superheated water, and volcanic gases accumulate in the fractures, building pressure. Here's where it gets critical. Scientists calculated that this weakened crustal layer requires only 5 to 15 megapascals of overpressure to fail catastrophically. That's equivalent to the weight of a small mountain pressing down in just one location. And the evidence suggests we are already within that range. When overpressure surpasses rock strength, fracturing occurs. When fracturing occurs, earthquakes happen. From 2005 to 2023, Pozzuoli experienced continuous, measurable ground uplift. In Rayoni Terra, the ancient hilltop district of Pozzuoli, the earth rose 1.3 meters. That's four feet of elevation change in 18 years. Not violent, but relentless. Boats ran aground in harbors. Ancient Roman columns tilted. Masonry cracks spiderwebbed across facades. But here's the disturbing part. The uplift rate isn't constant. In May 2024, measurements showed the ground rising at 2 centimeters per month. That's a 50% acceleration from historical average rates. Scientists at Ng V and Roma Tree University concluded unambiguously. The ascent of magma to depths shallower than 8 kilometers is the main driver of the ongoing activity. The volcano isn't settling, it isn't stabilizing. It's progressively accumulating magma and pressure. The question viewers should ask themselves. If magma keeps rising, keeps accumulating, keeps pressurizing fractured rock, what's the inevitable endpoint? Is it slow degassing? Is it a freetic eruption? Is it accelerated magma ascent? Scientists don't yet know which pathway Campi Flegre will choose. But they know it's choosing one. Thousands of earthquakes shook Pozzuoli. Buildings cracked. Gas compositions changed. Authorities evacuated families from the historic Rioni Terra district, the heart of the city. Some never returned. They watched the sulfur-to-carbon ratio spike. Then the crisis passed. 
The ground stopped rising. The earthquakes ceased. The city exhaled. Residents slowly moved back. Some buildings were restored, others left abandoned. But now, in 2025, scientists are seeing the same chemical fingerprint repeating. The hydrogen sulfide is rising again. Further, the magmatic contribution is increasing again. The ground is lifting again at accelerating rates. In 1982, scientists detected the warning signs but couldn't predict what came next. They didn't know if it would escalate to eruption, stabilize in crisis mode, or dissipate. It dissipated. That's what. The parallel is unmistakable. Same location, same volcanic system, same chemical anomalies, but different timeline, different population density, mm. different climate. The variables have shifted. So where does this leave us? And more importantly, where does it leave the people living directly above this awakening volcano? The answer is complicated, uncomfortable, and urgent. Italy's National Civil Protection Department currently maintains a yellow alert level for Campi Flegre. Yellow means elevated risk. Yellow means enhanced monitoring. Yellow means stay alert but don't panic. But here's the uncomfortable truth. Scientists like Giuseppe Mastro Lorenzo from Indivas, they have openly stated that current evacuation plans are insufficient, not because officials are negligent, but because evacuating half a million people from a densely populated urban area is logistically, socially, will military coordination succeed or collapse under pressure? Will people actually leave? Or will they refuse to abandon their homes like many did in 1982, hiding in cellars as the earth shook? And here's what keeps scientists awake at night. The timeline is unknown. Magma might continue rising slowly for another 10 years, allowing time to prepare. Or it might accelerate catastrophically in months. The hydrogen sulfide signature suggests gradual escalation. But volcanic systems are chaotic. They have breaking points, and breaking points don't give advance notice. Every millimeter of ground uplift, scientists communicate more openly with residents than ever before. The technology to predict volcanic behavior has advanced exponentially. Red or yellow. Cuation routes, know where gathering points are located. Second, prepare a go kit, documents, medications, water, cash, change of clothes. Third, follow INV monitoring updates. They publish monthly briefings. Fourth, participate in evacuation drills. They happen annually. Don't skip them. Fifth, talk to your family about what happens if evacuation is called. Make plans, practice them. Solfatara is breathing differently now. Magma is rising. Pressure is building. And somewhere beneath the soil, beneath the city, Beneath centuries of human habitation, the volcano is waking. The only question left is, are you prepared? If you found this information vital, if you want to stay updated as volcanic activity, hit the subscribe button. These signals matter. These signals matter. These stories matter. And honestly, they deserve an audience that cares.